Hey guys, it's Chris here at Engine, and welcome to this quick video tutorial on our new tech slider module. This module provides a great and convenient way to showcase content or links to your community. To set up this module, hit Admin and then Modules. If we scroll down, we should be able to find the tech slider module under the content category. After hitting Edit, we can start setting up the module. Towards the top, you can see a quick preview of one I've already set up. With the option below, you can select the data source you'd like to feed from. Options include custom feed, foreign thread title feed, top foreign posters, news title feed, latest purchases, top donators, and top website points. For this example, we'll show you how to set up a custom feed item. Looking at the example I've already set up, you can see the custom text, the view access, and any links associated. We're going to go ahead and delete this one, and we're going to create a new custom item by clicking Add Item at the top. On the Create Item screen, you can add your custom text. There are a few text editing options available too. For this example, we'll make the text bold, we'll go ahead and change the colour, and we'll add a cool smiley. After you've finished editing your text, you can add a custom link. For this example, we'll just use our website address. You can also set the viewing permissions for this text slider by using your website tags or teams. When you are done, just hit Create Item. With your text slider item added, if you scroll down, you can find a few more customization options. The first option allows you to change the text size on your slider item. The second option allows you to set the animation slide speed of the item. You can also change the background style with options for rounded or square corners. The next option allows you to pause the text slider animation on mouse hover, as well as an option for the scroll direction of the animation, either left or right. The duplicate content option will repeat content of your text slider, but can only be used on text which spans a large width. The final option allows you to add an item separated between your text items. If we look to the right, there are also some colour options for your text, links, background or item separators. And that's it. We hope you've enjoyed this quick video overview of our new text slider module.